Man, what a beautiful day. This is unbelievable, y'all. Gosh, what's up everybody? Jesse here with Southern Reels fishing out in the middle of the Chesapeake Bay. Sitting on top of a reef here today. Mainly because I just wanted to do something different. The season's kind of dying down out here as far as the summer season. We're in you know, middle of October now. Water temps are still like 67, 68 degrees. So we still got a few weeks left. 60 degrees kind of seems to be the cutoff out here for most species. It was really good fishing this morning. I had a crew out. We got all the sheep said that they wanted. They went home happy. I poked around for a while, tried to find some drum. I really didn't see much. So I figured I'll come in here and try something different, see if I can catch anything off of a reef because I never fished the reefs. There really is no need to because the bridge basically is a giant artificial reef and it's way closer than any of the other reefs that are on the bottom out here. But I do realize that not everybody is set up to be able to fish the bridge the way that I do. So that's why I'm out here, parked on top of some structure. We're going to drop some baits down, see what happens, and make the most out of this beautiful afternoon the good Lord gave us. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Wish me luck. All right, y'all. I'm parked on top of a nice piece of structure here. I don't know if y'all can see that. A big old piece of beam or something down there on the bottom. I'm going to start here and kind of poke my way around this reef and see if we can catch anything. I'm pretty sure we're going to get inundated by typical bottom fish and stuff, which is a lot of the reason why I don't fish reefs very much. Using my shorter pole for this since I don't really need the long poles out here. Got some fiddler crabs in here, of course. I'm just going to drop these bad boys down. Uh, probably a two ounce weight here because we do have a little bit of current kind of counteract that current best I can. So that's the bad thing about the reef fishing out here is there's so much current out in the open like this and there's you have no shelter from it. So other than slack tide, you're stuck dealing with it. Where you know fishing the bridge you can always stick you know up in the eddies behind the you know bridge pylons and stuff and be able to fish. We're out here, you're not afforded that luxury. So right now the current's going out. This bait behind me here. I'm kind of trying to watch it on the sonar to see where it's at. It's a good sized piece of structure, but I don't really see much on it as far as fish. Oh, there we go. Something grabbed it. I don't think that's a sheep's head. If it is, it's a big one. <laughs> I only got 20 pound braid on here, so I gotta take it easy. It's coming up there, whatever it is. Oh, I thought it was. get down here in that structure. Come on, I'm trying to finger it a little bit and help it. I'm outclassed. <clears throat> yep, it's probably a big black. Here, fish is a fish, and this is a big one. Get my net ready. I don't have a net out yet. Mm. Mm. Come on. 
Come on up, big boy. That was the most subtle bite. I didn't even know it was there, really. I'm a, I know there's structure down there, so I'm trying not to let them get down in it. But like I said, I only got 20 pound test here. I'm already thumbing it, kind of. Come on, buddy. Where are you going? I don't want to break you. I'm on back. Let me get all that back. Yeah, he's coming now, whatever it is. I swear I'll drop that thing down there. I just sit it to the bottom, picked up on it. I was like, crap, I'm snagged. And then it just took off on me. And I got whatever I got here. What a strange fight. It might be a big ray. I hope not. I guess so. Come on up. I just at least want to see what you are. I know whatever you are, you got to go back. You're definitely too big. I wish I had this on one of my heavier duty poles that I got up here. I could just hoss this dude right up. I'm not going to take my time with this one, though. I'm gonna get to see you finally. You almost up. Almost up. Don't run. I know you're tired. Come on, don't do it again. Don't do it again. Crap. I don't know. This is a nice bull drum. How do you know? I'm sorry, brother. I didn't mean to wear you out that much on this little pole. I'm get you fixed up there. I'm a big old fish. Good land. Look at that beast. All right. Yeah, boy. I'll take that, y'all. Second drop. A little fiddler crab on a sweeper jig. That thing's put in there good, right? And that lip just as pretty. Thank you, brother. You didn't even bend the hook. That's a nice fish, guys. Nice fish. Let's see how big he is. He is 50 inches. Thank you. Throw it out. Get him in here. By the tail. Get them revived. It's actually my favorite part right here. Of course, besides catching them. See you, brother. Watching them swim away. Oh, that's awesome, guys. <laughs> well, I can say I didn't expect that. But I'll take it. Well, guys, I gotta switch poles. The little tip broke on my other one. I guess I'll throw these here, which is more suited anyway. That way if I hook into another fish like that, I can get them up quicker. Really hate fishing for those drum with undersized tackle. Because it's definitely not good for them to fight them that long. That's crazy though. I sent that drain down and just set it there for a second. And boom, it was like instant freaking bull drum on it. Need a heavier jig on this one. I can already tell. Yeah, probably because I got 50 pound braid on here. It's carrying it a lot farther. Yep, I need no bait on there neither. All right, let me fix that. All right, all rigged up. Heavier jig. 
Oh yeah, I can feel the bottom way better with that one. It's definitely a little different fishing on a reef like this and just having to deal with this current. And today, actually, the current's very mild, to be honest with you. Oh, there we go. Something. I think I got another drum here. I have your rig for you this time. Oh, we got. Come on. Only weak point now is my hook. Which I'm not. It ain't gonna break, but it'll definitely bend. What we got? Yeah, black. Go ahead. Nice. Dude, come on back. I didn't do bad, I guess. Like six, seven drops so far. Two fish. Thank you, brother. Nice black drum. Nice. Thank you, brother. All right. Two fish so far. That ain't bad. Thinking I might get cheap set or tall tog, and so far I've caught a red drum and a black drum. That's not too bad. Pretty much just trying to keep my line tight. Working along the bottom. That way as I bump into structure, I can kind of lift it up over it versus getting snagged in it. Pretty much the same way I flounder fish in very rocky structure. Just use enough weight, that way you can keep that line tight. Hopefully pull it back out of any snags that you might encounter. Get him up out of it. <laughs> Whatever you are, you're coming up this time. And it's a tow fish. Yay. Right, that's why I don't like fishing the bottom most of the time. Hey, buddy. All right, guys, I'm gonna try one more drop here. This last piece of structure on this reef. I pretty much hit all the big pieces. On the bottom, yep, we're good. All right, come on. Let's see if I got him that time. Oh, really? Come on. <laughs> that figures. Me, brother. All right, so my last drop. Okay. Something bad. It. If this is another toad fish, I quit. That probably is. Yep. <laughs> oh God! Welcome back to fish in the bottom. Hey, brother. All right, folks, I've had enough of that burning daylight here. All right, y'all, I'm pretty much done with this reef fishing thing here. Got this two nice drums, some toad fish. That's pretty much it. So I'm going to call it a win and go do something different. Anyway, that's it for this one. Peace out. I'll see y'all in the next video.